We are going today from Hoffman's Marina East, which is really the preferred location because out there is a train area where the bridge goes up and down. Right now it is down and last time we were just on the other side of that it was very noisy so we elected to try to get here even though it was a more challenging docking. Uh, we've been isolated a little bit from the bridge opening so if you do come to Hoffman's Hoffman's East is preferred and really it is much nicer. The docks are nicer and it was closer to the uh, restrooms and the showers and the laundry. And right there you can hear the uh, bridge. They just sounded it and it is going up. A train had just come through. A passenger train of some sort had come through uh, heading I believe southbound. So we're going to head up to Liberty Landing Marina where we're going to stay for one night and really get a good view of the New York skyline and of course Lady Liberty will be going by that on the way. So uh, join us on this 45 mile trip up and we'll eventually join the Hudson River. Thanks for coming along. We are underway from Manasquan to New York City and about 25 miles away, I don't know if you'll see it here, but we're starting to pick up the skyline of New York City. We got some fishing boats out there, we're going to maneuver around. We had the uh, boat up on plane for a while, but we're starting to slow it down to time our arrival. Uh, around 11 o'clock or so at Liberty Landing. I know probably checkout time there so some boats will be leaving so maybe we'll get assigned a good slip as we go in there. It's pretty pricey. It's like about six dollars oh. a foot to stay there but hey. Six dollars? Yeah a, a foot. So oh. take that times uh, your boat lent uh, 50 and well, and about a three hundred dollar bill right there. Yikes! It's a special <laughs> thing, so yeah, yeah that anyway. would be the only. That's we've never spent that much. No, we have Marina. never spent that much. I think we spent what was it about uh, four dollars a foot, maybe three dollars a foot at three fifty uh, yeah, at yeah, the yeah, last three, place. Three fifty was it? Yeah. In in Manasquan. Yeah, Manasquan. Yeah, yeah. So it's high It's pretty around pricey here. in New York, but you know. <laughs> You don't mind paying it if it's a nice marina and they have all the amenities there but uh, well we're paying for the view yeah we're paying for the view yeah. and it's just one night we're going to be moving on after that right so uh some fishing boats out here we're maneuvering we have the autopilot on but I just have it right now on heading hold so we can kind of get around these boats here and not rock them too much. The, the uh, ocean is definitely more um, active today and when we were going fast it was better. Now uh, Sam's going about 10 miles an hour so we're feeling yeah, the Yeah it's pushing us around and you know taking the stern end of the boat and fish telling us once in a while but overall pretty pleasant ride and we will be entering the New York Harbor, so we'll give you some shots of that as we come up there. This is the northern tip of New Jersey out here. Lots of beachfront places here. United States Coast Guard, six dollar base. United States Coast Guard, six dollar base. For river regular marine information broadcast, you can listen to channel twenty two Alpha one five seven decimal one one. All right, so we don't need uh, we, we Delaware Bay, and I uh, heard that already, so anyway, we did see a oh. whale. I don't know As if it was I, a whale. It was a whale. Uh, it was definitely a whale. Uh, as I called Rev up to show her the skyline, that we could see the skyline, I looked around and she was coming up and right out there, yeah. about 50 feet, a whale had breached and we saw it just an amazing sight. So they are out here and I don't know what type of whale it was. It looked like a giant dolphin to me. <laughs> well, it was def that definitely was a whale. <laughs> that was not a dolphin. It was uh, big. So, of course, now that we're, you know, looking for them, yeah. we won't see them. But 
I'm sure they're out there. We are about ready to enter New York Harbor. Still about an hour and 25 minutes or so out from the marina. And we can see the shipping that's going on here. We got a couple commercial ships coming out. And I'm sure once we get past the Veranzano Narrows Bridge, which is this bridge you see up there in the distance, we'll start to pick up a lot more traffic as uh, we come in uh, to the New York Harbor. Just following the Navionics and we got her pulled back. We're kind of riding the current right now. Probably got about a one and a half mile per hour current. We could go a little faster, but we are trying to time it to get in there right or just a little bit after 11 o'clock. So we got the speed back and just kind of enjoy the view here. Last time we were here, we stayed over in um, over to the left over here, Rev, you can pan over there, Great Kills in uh, uh, Great Kills Harbor. There's a place back there has a couple different marinas and also mooring balls where some of our uh, traveling mates decided to stay. So this time we're bypassing that because we've been there and we're going to go to a different place and really seems like a beautiful day to see the skyline out there and the wind is not bad it looks like the wind might be about maybe five miles per hour six miles per hour uh, as we are going into the docking so we will call them in a little bit and ask them what choices we have for docking today I always kind of like to preface it with what choices do we have not where are you going to put us <laughs> and so that way maybe they'll say hey where would you like to go so give us an option but we'll see how it goes do you think we're going to be waked by that? No, there's not much coming off of it. Okay. And it's going to Charleston. Oh, really? Yeah. She's traveling about uh, 11 miles per hour. Nice and easy. So here we're coming up on New York City and there's a little fishing boat in front of us and then a giant ship. You think that's anchored up there? It doesn't look like it's moving. Yeah, I think it's anchored up there. Yeah, so you can see New York City on the right and right up in front of that boat, looks like it's standing on top of the boat, is the Statue of Liberty. So we're coming up on it. Yeah. So, we have changed our plans because <laughs> I called the marina, Liberty Landing Marina, where we were going to spend the big bucks at $6 a foot to stay, and we had heard they had a couple restaurants, and we figured Labor Day, certainly they'd be open. Yes. But in the conversation with the dock master, he said, no, everything is closed. I said, he said, on Mondays they're closed. I said, it's a holiday. How about not open? No, nothing is open. And so with the current situation in New York City, the other option would be to take a ferry to go over there, but we do not want to go into New York City with the COVID and some of the other unrest that is going on. Just don't think that's a good idea. So we will take our money elsewhere <laughs> and have a good time with it. But in the meantime, we are getting to see what we did not see last right. time, which was a really clear view of the Statue of Liberty uh, and now downtown Manhattan. So we're just going to take it all in. The other thing I've noticed is it's probably because it's a holiday, there's not a lot of ferry traffic, people not going to work. So mm -hmm. that's probably it. And maybe uh, the timing is different, too, because it's around 1025. So I'm sure we'll see more boats as we get up here and uh, give you a good view of Manhattan and also the Statue of Liberty. All right, we are in New York Harbor and just wanted to give you a little bit of information on the AIS and automatic identification service that we talked about. 
and you will see here a number of targets you can see our boat is right here and we see these tracks basically if those vessels are moving where they might intersect us every once in a while they will pop up um, I think everything is pretty much sleeping out here so we're going to zoom in on one of these grab a few pan out there we see a number of targets out there, our boats, and we're going to look at one of these. We'll take this one here. We will take this one, and it takes a little bit of technique on these screens. So what I do is I'll zoom in on this one, and I will hit it with my finger, if I can get it exactly right on there. See, it does take a little bit of finesse. And it says Barney Turacamo. So in order to find out about that is I will hit the information button. And it says dangerous because it's with, 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 within the circle that I have programmed to be in there within a mile. It gives you their MMSI number. That's what identifies them on the AIS that's registered. Their call sign, another number that I don't know what it is. It's the type of ship that it is. It's the dimensions, and they were always in meters, 156 meters, so roughly 500 feet or so. The draft is in feet, 19.7 feet. It's at anchor. It's using GPS. There's the actual position. Its range from me right now is 4.4 miles and bearing, and it's going... It's not going any speed because it's sitting there. And the other thing it will give you a little bit more rate of turn if it was. Its destination is New York City, so it's already here. It doesn't have a destination outbound yet. And a little bit more information about RAIM uh, that's uh, a little bit more pinpointing accuracy. Nearest approach that we are going to hit it is at 700 feet or so. And uh, the time to the nearest approach will be about a minute and 31 seconds. So really neat technology that can help you out there. And we'll see here is uh, a couple of other ones is this one. It's got a track going here. It's moving. Or there's actually one that is coming this way, it looks like. But... It's starting to get confused a little bit here, but this is nothing like it was when we came through the last time. So a little bit about the automatic identification service. Highly recommended if you're going on the loop. Get the full package. Uh, this is a Garmin 800. It's a transceiver, so it transmits and receives uh, rather than some people just kind of get a half of a uh, AIS and uh, they can see other people, but you can't see them. So uh, that's what it's all about. Now we're heading to Half Moon Bay Marina. There's a Statue of Liberty behind us, and we are moving on. This was a highlight of our Gold Loop trip, and it is definitely a highlight of our Platinum Loop trip. Can't beat the view of the city being in the water right down here in the middle of everything. 
I do hope the city comes back soon. We are going up the Hudson River and that was the Tapan Z Bridge that you saw. A very nice looking bridge, isn't it? Yeah. And we had heard a security call a little bit earlier about the, the Coral Coast pushing a barge, going south, going to New York City. So uh, there she is. I do see it on AIS <clears throat> and it, uh, it's outside the range right now usually shows up it shows up as a little green triangle and then it'll eventually once it gets within range of the parameters that I've set for it which I think is a mile it will turn uh, red and we'll start seeing it but we just kind of plan to pass him like we're on the highway uh, we're gonna pass him on the right and that would be on the one if you're using the lingo on the, uh, the rivers so we'll see we'll see him on the one unless he calls us and tells us something else but there's plenty of water out there last time we went through here and there was a lot of construction going on in this area and uh, you had to be careful but nothing out there today i don't see any buoys or anything that uh, are warnings so uh we'll just aim to get through the bridge and we are about 10 miles out uh, just a little under an hour we have a current we've We've had a current all day pushing us up the Hudson River, which is nice. Uh, right now, it was as it was as much as two miles per hour. Now it's uh, dropped off to a mile per hour. So uh, coming in there, and then we'll get into Half Moon Bay and talk to you a little bit later about where we're going to dock at uh, Half Moon Bay. Uh, another thing that we're starting to think about is we are going to put the boat in winter storage. So. We want to arrive at that place with a certain amount of fuel. We don't want it full of fuel. And so I'm going to be contacting uh, that marina that's going to take the boat out, put it in winter storage. And we will need fuel here soon. So we're going to try to figure out is how much fuel do we need to put in the boat so that we don't have too much when we get up there. I don't think it's going to be an issue, but I still need to sit down and do some ciphering, so to speak, about uh, how many gallons of fuel to put in. And then, of course, always looking for the best price on fuel uh, around here in the New York area. It seems like 280 is, you know, about normal. 280 a gallon for diesel. Uh, I did find a place, and the guy told me 235. So that looks pretty good. I'll be trying to beat that price. We are about ready to make a turn inbound to Half Moon Bay. We have called the dock master there and talked to him. He's given us a number of options, which we will see when we get in there what works out best for us. We have been here before. It's a great place, and we will just see what turns up as we go in there. You can see a lot of sailboats out today, a little bit windy. I think it was probably about 10 miles per hour of wind, maybe even a little bit more on the water here. The Hudson River has given us a nice ride today, a, at least a uh, nothing less than a one mile current upstream due to the tide. So when we leave here, maybe we can time it again to uh, get a push and we'll figure it out. How are we going to stay here two nights and uh, just relax and replan since we had uh, planned to be in New York City for one night. So we'll take advantage of it here. Seems like there's a number of restaurants and things that were within a walk, and we need to get out and get some exercise anyway. So uh, it'll be a nice break for us to get in here. <laughs> 